Hello. Hi. I'm back. Hello. Hi. What the fuck? I'm back. I just realized I had the, the Twitch window open on one side. Okay. Uh, how's everyone today? I'm, I hope everyone's doing good. I Also, I just realized someone followed me. Okay, I heard someone followed me while I was uh, in the starting soon screen. I was away from the computer, but I still heard the alert. Uh, Pumpkin Van, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Um, why isn't my thing updated though? I don't know. I have a I have a bug on like my uh, my Streamlabs thing. I don't really know what's going on, but anyway, uh, yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, just as a heads up, I have a horrible, horrible headache. Uh, the entire right side of my head feels like it's splitting open. Uh, but you know, it's I wasn't gonna cancel Tears of the Kingdom. You know, I was just really excited to play more. Um, but. I, I'm only wearing my headphones on one side, which is the left side, and I will probably be closing my right eye a lot, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, during the stream, so that's why. That's not just a model bug, that's me just protecting my eye, because that's, sometimes it's the only way it will fe feel better. Oh. Also, I guess I just have to drink a lot of water, you know. Hmm. So usually my Tears of the Kingdom streams are like four hours long, but I might make this one shorter. Just because I don't feel so good. Uh, I'm sure maybe, I don't know, I hope I feel better tomorrow. Um, it's just... Whoa. Okay, give me a second. Okay. Mm-hmm, okay. I'm not muted. All right. Uh, so we're gonna do just some side quests today. Uh, sorry. <laughs> we're gonna do some side quests today because I'm too tired and too pain too much. I'm 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 too. You know, too tired, too sick to do anything bigger. So I'm just gonna do some side quests. Take the shroom. You say this is from Say Say? Thank you kindly. Us old folks don't know much about what's in now, you know. I'm happy to vote for whoever is ma uh, for mayor if they'll fix up the village real nice. Have you handed them out already? No. We've delivered all my little gifts, I see. Well done. That ought to help a few of those read voters to see the light. Here you are, a sign of my gratitude. It's a rare mushroom worth more than most can afford. No. As your own team says, I expect you to eat it and fire yourself up from the mayoral election coming up. Ah. Uh. Okay, what about the election? What's gonna happen? When's the election? Oh, maybe I have to do the other quest where I have to, where I have to like follow them at night or something. I think maybe. Seems that Sissy sneaks out of her house somewhere every night. Okay. You know, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna hide here. It would be better if I had the stealth outfit, but it's like way too expensive right now for me to get it because it's like because I haven't done the quest for the, with like the sick grandma yet. I still need to find like one of these flowers. I don't even have anything to start a fire, man. I'll just use this. 
What's going on? What's this? Oh, that's just a ball of fire that I let out. Night. It's like that one uh, mission from Kakariko Village from the first game, where you had to like follow one of the Yiga clan, uh, I mean the, the Shika guys, somewhere during the night. That was fun. I wonder what she's up to. I wonder what his secret is. I think maybe... When's she gonna come out? Wait, is he also trying to spy on her? What's going on? Uh -huh. Oh, he's he's looking. He's watching someone else. Oh, she's coming out. Be sneaky. Wonder what she's up to. Oh, is she stealing shit from the dye shop? Or what? She's going up the windmill? What the fuck? Why? Hey. No. What? Well, now this is a fine turn of events. How in the world did you get in here? Into my silo, I might note. I can't just have- I can't have just anyone coming in and out all, at all hours, so out of the day. Shoo, shoo! Did I fail? Okay. I mean, I kind of need to talk to her, right? Alone at last. Why is she alone? <laughs> Playing Tears of the Kingdom while watching you play, play Tears of the Kingdom? <laughs> That's a mood. Hi, Jace. How are you? I'm doing some side quests today because I'm in... Uh, I have a headache. Um... Oh, I just hydrated, but thank you. I just took a sip, like, when you sent that. <laughs> I'm good. I mean, I'm I'm pretty sick, but I didn't want to cancel the stream, you know? Um. I wonder if I'm supposed to, like, watch what she's doing inside somehow, but I don't know how. There's no, like, window in this. It's a silo, so... I can't get in from above. Is there... Thank you. Appreciate it. What do you mean 
alone at last. What are you doing? So do, do, do I just wait it out? Maybe I messed up. Maybe I shouldn't have been seen at all. Oh, maybe I have to restart. I'll try again. Ah, my fire went out. Shade. Well, whatever. I'll make another one. Oh, maybe because that wasn't the right building. Fuck, my fire was here. Also, for the past few days, I felt like there's something something stuck in my right eye, too. I don't know why. But it's like, I feel something moving. Like, I don't know if it's an eyelash or what, but it's not coming out. It's really annoying. Ah, there she is. Do I have to get inside with her without her seeing me? Is that possible? Because I can't get in right now. I might have to get in without being seen, but I don't know if that's possible. I'll try again. That's a very tiny room, I feel like...
go. Sorry if I'm not super chatty, I just... I, I, my head hurts so much that I'm trying to... to calm down. Or what if I get in, like, before she comes in and hide somewhere in the room? Do you think I could do, do that? But no, because I can't enter while she's not here. Because the building is condemned. I can't get inside and, unless she opens the door. I think so. So I think the only solution is having to get in while the door is open when she gets in. And, like, hide immediately. But that's... That sounds hard because the room is so tiny. Like, how am I gonna get, like, hide from her? Lock? Hmm? I'm not here. You didn't see me at all. Oh? I don't oh. think that's possible. No. What? I'm inside. Does that mean I can be inside? I can literally be- Oh my god, I can hide here. Oh my god. I don't know if that's gonna work, but... Just waiting for her. Because I saw her coming. There she is. You can't see me at all. What? somewhere else oh my god there is i didn't notice maybe i can spy on her from here perfect i perfect i do believe nobody saw me are you sure i'm here i'm free to enjoy another of my late night meals in secret how oh, i enjoy my my nightly vegetables the shine, the luster, the fragrance. Yes, indeed. Now this is luxury dining. And so without further ado, let us tuck in. I mean, you can like vegetables in public, man. You're, you're allowed to. So weird. So scrumptious. The crisp, smooth taste is a sign that they were grown on a diet of pure water. Thanks to the farmer's deft touch and the quality of the soil, I can even eat the skin without misgivings. Honestly, vegetables from anywhere but Hateno Village simply don't count. They're nowhere near as filling. Though I've built a reputation on flesh and glamour here in private, I must admit that the simple, unadorned things are best. She's just talking to herself. There's simply no de denying it, alas. But now that I'm full for tonight, it's best that I return home. Ow. If I don't return quickly, Sophie may start to suspect something. Well, lol. Sophie should hear about this. Yeah, she should. Did, did I spend, like, all night up here? Sorry about this. I know it's a tall order asking you to tell my sister, but I'm just so nervous about her. 
Hey, she was just eating carrots. Really? The silo across the way? What? I thought she'd been hiding something big. Is that really all there was to it? I know my sister says a lot about charisma and style and has to do everything in the most ostentatious way possible. But between you and me, her tastes are pretty plain. She loves the slow life here in Hateno Village. She probably told you she came back here because of development or whatever. But the truth is she just wanted to eat the vegetables growing, growing right here in her hometown, hometown again. At least I'm pretty sure that's the case. Either way, I'm so glad she wasn't up to anything scandalous. I want you to have this in exchange for helping me out. My sister really is, is a handful sometimes. Both she and Reed want the same things, you know? I can't understand why the two of them don't just work together instead of going to such bizarre lengths. Uh, you know, I think uh, Reed is also doing some stuff in secret. Every evening, Reed shuts himself up in the shed at his house. His wife, Clavia, is getting suspicious of his behavior. Went to the shed in the middle of the day while Reed isn't there and look around. The shed is normally locked. I can't be entered through the door. Okay, so I have to maybe enter through the... Through something else. Maybe a well. Oh wait, no, that's this house. Or is it? I don't- wait. No, where is it? No, what? Forgot where his house is. It's the one up here. I'm not insane. That's the shed. I can enter through the well. Ma. Wait, that's gonna be tough though because oh okay hold on i think i know what i have to do because i don't have the map unlocked right now which is gonna make it really hard to just know where to ascend yeah this is gonna be like impossible basically um that's the well the shed is over there so it's not super far but i think i need to put like a pin on it Right here, and then I, when I, I'm under it, when I'm under it, then I can ascend. Maybe I'm assuming that's what I have to do. <laughs> Fox, stop! should be around here. What? Ah. Oh. Ah, 
There we go. No sword, a new variety of pumpkin. I firmly believe that Hateno Village's charm is in the delicious vegetables and milk from our farms. But there's no denying that these things are starting to resonate with the youth nowadays. And I've got no business being mayor if I can't fix that. So I got together with Nak, the best farmer in these parts, and we came up with a new type of pumpkin. The color, shape, and appearance are based on the Sese Brandt aesthetic, which is popular with the young folk. These guys should collab! We've had a snack, though. It might be a bit before we can achieve our goal of shipping the pumpkins out. Hey, haha. <laughs> oh, it's you. How goes it? Made any progress on that thing we talked about? Just just about vegetables, man. He not he's not cheating on you or anything. You say he's developed a new type of pumpkin? So that's why he's been consulting with Nak so often. He I thought he was fucking him. <laughs> he could have just asked Sissy about it directly, but I know he's too hardworking and stubborn for that. Ah. It's a relief to find out the truth. A lot of things make sense now. Like why he went to vent his clothing. It's so obvious in hindsight. I'm sorry, that's between me and my husband. Thank you for looking in the, into this for me. I promise you a reward and I keep my promises. Oh, thank you. I love tomatoes. What a pair what a pair the two of them make. If they would just get along. Sorry to eat into your schedule. They should be finished setting up for the mayoral election by now, don't you think? We should head over to see Sophie. Absolutely. I want to see how it goes. Look, Amira, someone who forgot to put on his sexy brand outfit today. Mm. Get with the time and put on some sexy brand clothes already. How else will anyone know your loyalty, loyalty to sexy style? Ah. Walk around the village looking like that if you want, but don't blame me when sexy roasts your fashion sense. <laughs> sexy set up her own sexy brand line. It proves that what a fantastically avant-garde, charismatic designer she is. Why sexy single-handedly set the tone for Ateno Village's whole look. Oh. Sexy's shop is still left a village. Uh, yeah, God. Got it. Where's Sophie? Oh, oh that's the girl from here. Oh. Everything's ready. It's time to get the election for village mayor started. Uh. Nice day for an election, don't you think? Everyone's gathering in the plaza. Hmm. And now, without further ado, further ado, let's have each of our candidates for mayor say a few words. Uh. Um, uh, hi, I'm Reed. Oh. I believe that the heart of our village is, is its pas pastoral culture. We've built a close-knit, self-sufficient lifestyle here in Hateno, and I don't want to see us lose that. Uh. My plan is to strengthen our community with new local specialties, starting with our brand new Hateno cheese. Uh. What's cheese? <laughs> I am the world-renowned Seisei, Hyrule's premier f uh, fashion designer. But you knew that, of course. No. Together we can turn this backwater village into Hyrule's go-to destination for all things stylish. No. Vegetables don't make the world go round, it's glamour that rakes in, rakes in the cash. No. And nobody knows glamour like me, darlings. No. Fashion comes and goes, your style is trendy now, but it'll be over soon. And then when, where will it, we be? Nonsense! It's trends that shape the world, not the other way around. That's... Ah! That's it out! Sophie! Uh? Both of you are just arguing for more what you like, not what's best for Hateno. You can't fool me, say say you've loved simple plain things forever, including the vegetables of Hateno Village. I know for a fact that you hide in the silo at night to snack on vegetables. Oh. Moi! Wherever did you get such a curious notion? Ah. And you, Reed, your secret's out too. I know why you've been secretly studying Sesei's design in the shed. You think there's something there that you can use to get the youth to care about vegetable farming. Oh. Now who went and told you that? It's fucking Link. Uh. Sesei, I can't deny any of it. <clears throat> it, sh I sh it should have made me happy that you came in and li livened up the village. No, oh, Reed, it is I who should be ashamed. My, child my childish pride would not allow me to admit the truth. Uh. 
The trends and style I made for my my name on are built on the foundation of traditional culture that our forebears worked for. Please forgive me, everyone. I'm sorry too. Sophie, I hereby withdraw my can candidacy. Say, say, wait. I'd be a fool to pretend you're not the reason our village is flourishing. I don't want to deny you your due. Did I hear you say you're working on new vegetables to attract the youth of today? That sounds like a safety worthy endeavor. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with asking if you can help, you know? People of Hateno, we've come to a decision. The best way to keep Hateno Village vibrant is to work together to combine traditional cultures with new ideas. <laughs> Sophie and Clavia told me what you did on our behalf. Thanks to you, Hateno Village is thriving once more. We ought to reward such fine work, hmm? Come to Ventus Clothing when you have a moment. <coughs> oh shit, I was gonna sneeze and it didn't come out. <laughs> I knew, of course, that you'd be you'd been in cahoots with Sophie, but I never dreamed you'd also been conspiring with Clavio. Still and all, we can call that election a success. Do you remember what we discussed when you first came here? This Seisei hat is the latest masterpiece from the Seisei collection. See those luxurious curves, the avant-garde colorway? Everything about that hat is perfect, and so I've been saving it to bequeath to the perfect model. Do you grasp what yet what I'm getting at? Are you gonna give that to me? It's you that I want to model my Seisei hat. You who saved not just Hateno Village, but also me and Reed. My perfect hat is unsuitable for anyone else to wear. And besides, let's not pretend it won't look absolutely dashing on you. Um... Here we are. Does the wig come with it? Now put on that Seisei hat and lord it, lord it over the whole world. Um... Tidy, hmm? I shall reinvent myself and open Ventus clothing anew. Sophie, there's work to be done, sister. To be done. Oh. As for myself, I've had a long think about where to take my brand from here. To begin with, I'll study my collection of unique goods designed by our forebearers. No. See me if you happen to part ways with precious precious apparel that's too rare to be purchased. I might have something in my collection that can serve as a guide. Okay. Hey. Finally, do business again. Ventus Clothing is back. Feel free to browse. We appreciate all your support. Hi. We're a clothing shop with lots of apparel to choose from. No more where to adventure wear. You'll find it where right here. <laughs> oh. Um. Whoa, that's expensive. I already have that one, right? Yep. I have the hood too, and this I don't have, but kind of don't really need it right now. What the fuck? <laughs> I have the lipstick too, it comes with it? Like, what? Can I take a selfie? That's amazing. Incredible. Okay, well... Why? <laughs> I love that the lipstick just comes with it, you know? Like, it's okay. Yeah. Fuck, I might have to take off my headphones, put them around my neck, because this is loud as fuck, dude. I appreciate the music and everything, but it... it I'm- my head hurts too much for this. Oh hi there, I still owe you one after the mayoral election. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. I've been doing some research toward, toward a test run of veggies using some CC brand style. Two of us worked hard raising them. They were almost ready for the harvest. But then a pack of monsters came and trashed the field. So 
after the whole crop is ruined. Uh, I'm usually glad for the rain, it's good for the crops after all, but what's the point when monsters will ju would just trash it again? Uh, the two of us aren't enough enough, uh, aren't tough enough in scrap to send those monsters packing. What we need is a bodyguard with some muscles to stand watch over the crops. I'll take the job. Oh, oh you'll handle it for us? That's perfect. Oh. Based on our stakeouts, the monsters come late at night and seem to go back when they came from where the s when the sun rises. <laughs> I can't let a traveler stand against those monsters alone. I'll be there fighting right beside you. Or I'll try at least, but if the monsters are too much for us and I can't take the heat, I hope you won't blame me for retreating. I know this is short notice, but I'm set to go if you are. Okay, sure. Oh. This is about time that monsters usually come to lay waste to the field. When you see them get near the field, send them packing. Uh. I don't think the monsters like it when dawn breaks, so we've just got to hold out until the sun rises. <laughs> They're coming, please, Link, help. Uh. They're good. Oh my god. <laughs> Let me just handle it, Reed, you big pussy. I'll just burn their shields. <laughs> Hello? God dang! I mean, you weren't really doing much in the first place, man. Wait, I can't just do it myself? I have to protect him the whole time? Try again. I just have to stay with him. Maybe he's in the spirit the way to go. really doing anything. <laughs> Not 
What? Do not even try. Is it? Did it? Nice. Oh. We did it. <laughs> hey, look at my pumpkins. Oh, <laughs> they look like mushrooms. Thanks to you, the pumpkins we worked so hard on got the chance to grow. Overnight? Aren't, there, aren't these pumpkins beautiful? See the way they catch the sunlight and sparkle? <laughs> That's it. We should call these beauties sun pumpkins. Plum delicious sun, sun pumpkins. Yeah, I think that's the perfect name for the name for them. <laughs> sun pumpkins. What a great name. Yeah. Here, this is our thanks for your help. Heal the effect of exposure oh, exposure to gloom. <laughs> our veggies and fields are the real jewels of Hateno Village. If we're lucky to have you around protecting them, we're lucky to have you around. We'll just get Seisei's approval on them real quick and then we can start selling them as Hato Hateno's special signature produce. Ugh. None of this would have been possible without you looking out for us. Ow. You're welcome, man. I didn't think I would ever have to help you, but... Um... Okay, finish that one. What should I do now? There's a lot. Uh, I think I wanna- I really want to unlock the Hateno map, but I think I have to go to Mount Neighbor for that. Yeah. But, you know, like, I, I don't know if there's any, like, strong monsters on it. I could try going there, I guess. It's not that far. You know what, maybe before I go I should make some food actually, because I don't have that much left. I also really need to do some hunting because I, I don't think I have a lot of meat. Do I have cheese? Wait, when did I get a Sundelion? What? When did I get it? I thought I, I didn't have one anymore. So maybe I can do the quest in Kakariko. I think she needed fresh milk, this, and rice. I don't have rice, but I can get pretty easily. I don't know, I thought I used the only Sundelion that I had. 
I'm so confused. Maybe I picked one up without like paying attention. What? Has some medicinal value? <laughs> okay. Tomato salad with oil. What the fuck? Do I just n not have any meat? I guess not. I'll have. I really have to do some hunting. There should be enough. I'm going. For real. This time. Oh man, what's up here? No, what the fuck? I didn't mean to do that. That's right, bitch. Oh. 
I don't need to take the main path. I'm not a pussy. Also, I don't think I can access the main path from this side. I think I would have had to go through uh, Lanayru Road. But I don't really want to go there yet. Ooh, ca a big chasm down there? Scary. Another one over there? Uh, what was it again that meme that was like sometimes I can still hear his voice stop telling people I'm dead <laughs> I, <laughs> I poop always <laughs> thank you for the follow I love your name I appreciate it thank you so much um I'm sorry if I'm not like super chatty today I have a big headache uh, but thank you I hope you are having a good day. How are you doing this fine evening? Oh, you know, I have a really bad sinus headache. But I still wanted to play the game so I didn't cancel stream. But I'm, I'm trying to power through like I always do. But my head really hurts. <laughs> It's like the entire right side of my head is just splitting open. I saw on Twitter, yeah. Uh, I don't know if I can climb these. I mean, it's ice, so I don't think so. Oh wait, I... no. What can I do? I'm sure... is there like a way I can... I'm sure... What an incredible adventure. What is this Genshin Reapoff? Um. <laughs> I don't think so. I see me. No skarmouche. It's okay, there's Raru. I do love Raru a lot. And Sidon, but I haven't met him yet. I mean, I know who he is, but I haven't seen him uh, in this game. For now. I've reached a tower! Yeah. Yeah! Sorry, I'm just stretching. I keep forgetting that the the Jerkons keep vibrating when I do this. I put them on my desk and then it's like boo, boo, boo. Ah I used to play Zelda on PS2, that's all I know about it. I knew I, I love Zelda. I love all of the games. It's so nice. Okay.
an archipelago. What's that? What's that? What's all this? Sled shield? This the sled shield. What's all this? Is I can just five minutes and get my credit card so I can sub. Oh, I appreciate it. You don't have to, but thank you so much. I I don't I know I no move. I stay here. So do I have to like surf down this thing with my sled shield? This is what I'm understanding. Okay, let me just... What's this? Oh, is it a shrine? I unlocked a shrine by surfing! Neat! Man, what do you want? I think if I shoot a spicy pepper at this guy, he's gonna die. to care. <laughs> There's a big chasm over there. Why am I naked? What the fuck? But... I look so silly. This looks like a difficult shrine. Um. No, 
I can't ascend this. What? Okay. I don't have any arrows left. Are you serious? What? What am I doing? Oh, they fell down here. <laughs> no. Give me that. You know what? This is going pretty well. Uh... Ah! Where does this go? Just in the void? What's the point of this? Big bitch. He just doesn't believe in me. He's a conspiracist. Everyone's a fucking conspiracist in this game. Can you believe it? flamethrower as well. What? Well... But how do I open... Do I have to defeat all of them? For... I 
have to defeat all of them, don't I? God damn it. <sighs> I'll take them all. this on this I guess <laughs> I'm gonna go back down <laughs> ah shit <laughs> something maybe hello oh I don't have food Well, I sure hope so. Because I look silly like this. Ah! Well, Raru, that was a little... Uh, just a little bit over the top, don't you think? No, I'm joking. I love you. I will never say that about you. Uh... Oh, well, I don't have my rocket shield anymore. Hey. Wait, no. I need to be on it. <laughs> Silly. Um, don't get stuck. Yeah. Now that was a fun, ch uh, a fun little challenge. I appreciate that. Reminds me of like Even Tide from the first game. That was pretty cool. I loved Even Tide, even though it was hard. I wonder what became of Even Tide in this game. Oh. Pretty cool. Okay, what else can I do now? What's this? Yeah. What? What is that? What?
What? Oh, wait, I get it. I can control this? With this? Wait, that'd be crazy. I mean, that's probably what it's for, but... Hear the dragon music, where is she? Ah, uh, thank you so much for the sub! <laughs> I really appreciate it, thank you! You want to buy some snacks? That's okay! I hope the snacks are good. And thank you so much for the sub, I super appreciate it so much, thank you. Where's the dragon? Oh, there she is, look! Look! She's so beautiful! I wanna take a picture of her. Nadra! I'll take a better picture later, but... We deserve more, but I am broke. Oh man, you know, you don't- you really don't have to spend more money than that on me, like really. I, I super appreciate this. This is definitely more than I expect. Like, I I don't stream for money. I just do that for fun. Um. I have an idea. I've seen people do that on Twitter. I kind of want to try. Um. <laughs> Just like try to Mad Max Fury Road this shit. I don't know how well that's gonna work, but... I mean, I guess the in Mad Max he's like at the front of the vehicle, but I feel like it would be a little precarious to have him at the front, but maybe at the back I could do, like, have him... <laughs> Oops. Ooh. It might make it a little too heavy then. <laughs> Shit. Maybe I would need like a plank, that would be less heavy, but I don't have a plank on me right now. What's this weird contraption? I'm making a vehicle. <laughs> um, currently I have to lead this guy to his friend that's up there, but um, I just- I I'm, I'm don't know what I'm doing, honestly. <laughs> All right, man, let's go. Is like a is it like a, an all-terrain vehicle? No. No. Hmm. That doesn't work super well. I mean, it's not taking me very far, so I, get, I, I would say it doesn't work that well. What the fuck, man? I don't know if that's like... Because the, the guy is up there, so how do I fucking bring the guy up there? This is really precarious. Turn into a bike? I don't know how. Like, it's not staying upright is the problem, I think. Because th his friend is all the way up there. But, like... Oh! <laughs> oh no! Mm. 
Mm. Maybe I need like a second platform to attach. Maybe that would be less... Because it's like only two wheels. It's a little weird. Um... I can't- I, I can't uh, make the other friend move, actually. I can only move this guy. But maybe I need to make a longer platform. Don't they have a bigger thing? I can move. More wheels? Yeah. That must be what I have to do. Um... <laughs> oh, that's weird. Don't they have a bigger platform? The same size as the first one? Like a Oh, there is, actually. Well. <laughs> yes, I think it should work with more wheels. I don't know about that tiny one, though. I feel like it's not necessary. We'll see. Uh, but I need to add more wheels. Man, this game is fun. <laughs> This is really fun. No, because it's all fucked up now. Okay. Last one. It's on a fourth one. <laughs> no. What's the deal? All right. Should be able to get up there, right? Let's go see your friend, buddy. What the fuck? Huh? 
<laughs> the formula F1 is finished. Yeah. There it is. It's not very fast. The wolf is like, I'm not messing with that shit. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna run out of energy soon. Oh, man, I made it. We made it, man. Look, here's your friend. Hey. That was fun. Ah! My car! It's falling! My car! It's broken! It's fine. I'm not gonna use it again. Not this one. Well, should I go to the chasm? No. No, I'm scared. I'm scared of the chasm. It's scary. Uh, where should I go next? Uh. The chasm. Shrine quest. Oh yeah, they're like a, they're another thing. <laughs> Do you regularly stream or just random streams? Um, like every other day. Like l usually, I stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Sometimes Sunday when I feel up to it. Hi, Hadoken, how are you? I'm doing side quests today. My head hurts really bad, so I'm not super chatty. How are you? Did you get enough sleep? Uh, not really. I woke up with, like, a headache and my stomach was hurting really bad, so I woke up way too early and I couldn't fall back to sleep. Uh, so no. Didn't get enough sleep. Hope to sleep a little more tonight. Uh, today's stream might not be as long as the one from yesterday. But yeah, I have a really bad headache. So that doesn't help. How about you go fuck yourself, Talus? What if I shot a pine cone in their fire? What would that do? Nothing. I'm 
sorry to hear that. You yeah, don't worry about more longer stream. Gotta have some time to care for yourself. Yeah, I will probably sleep after a stream because. Hey, how about you go for yourself? Take some pictures. Hey. of these guys. Yeah, so I'm not doing any like main uh, story quests today. I would probably have to feel better for this. I'm just doing s like exploration and side quests. Hey man, I have your chill shrooms. Is this enough? I think I have 10. Huh? Well, you didn't actually cross the pond and pick the chill shroom. No, I didn't. I found them in the mountains. You weren't worried about falling into the freezing water? Well, gosh, that's really brave of you. I can't just take them for free, though. Here, why don't I give you this? Thank you. I literally did not get them from the cave. Now I can make good on all my big talk. You know, this isn't the only cave in these mountains with po pools of freezing water. Be careful when you explore. You're welcome, ma'am. Oh, I just realized there's like a thing. You know the funniest thing that I think- the, the funniest thing that you can do in this game is like this. You can literally just... It's not that long, but I think it could work. Like... You can literally just do this. And then... Oops. I don't think it's gonna work in this case, though. It's a little too far, but whatever. Uh, what I do want to do, though... I wanted to like attach it to the raft that the raft that's the other way, but I might have something. I might have some fans. I do. Should, one should be enough, right? Use this as a raft. And just do this. <laughs> do I have a rock hammer? Yeah, I do. Big brain, yeah. Oh. 
then I get out through the seedling. <laughs> what? Oh! Hey, man. through it. Um. Hmm. All right, I can do this one. Where I have to heal the grandma from her illness. Ah. Uh, sorry, I'm stretching my neck. I can hear some cracks. I can hear my bones just snapping. God damn. What the fuck? Where's she going? Is she going in the chasm? What? She's going in the chasm? She's crazy. Hello? I kind of want to follow her. Hey, Tulin, help me out, man. What? Oh, I'm in a village. I can't. Why is she going in the chasm? She's crazy. Ah. But I don't want to go in the chasm. I'm scared. The place is scary. I kind of really want to follow her just to see where she's going, man. You know. I'll come back alive. And then these people are gonna be like, Oh, I heard there's a dragon, but I think it's a legend. She literally was just, just right here. God dang. Oh. Oh, hi. Um, I don't need you anymore. Sorry, Tulin. <gasps> hi, Nadra, where are you going? Nadra, I'm so worried. What are you doing? Where are you going? Oh, I have to be careful because she's gonna try to freeze me. <gasps> Nadra, you're insane! Oh, it's amazing though. What an experience! To just fly with her, you know? <gasps> That's crazy! What if I shot her in the face? Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's amazing. I feel really amazing about this. I wonder how long I can follow her. This game is so beautiful. I know, right? I never thought I would be able to just follow a dragon in the chasm. What is she doing in the chasm? I can't see a sh I, I can't see anything down there. I'm so scared. I'd rather stay with you, Nadra. I'm not even losing stamina while I do this. Just have to be careful not to hit her. <sighs> Shit, dude, that's amazing. 
I'm just taking a video because I think this is one of the best things I've experienced so far in this game. Where's she going? I wonder if she's gonna take me somewhere interesting, you know? Or if she's just gonna come out another hole? I don't know if I'm wasting my time or if, if this is genuinely something that I should be doing, but it's it's so enjoyable. She sh she's so chill about this. Also, I know sh I shot her in the face and she dropped the scale, but I uh, I forgot to go pick it up. <laughs> Maybe I can come back to it later, I don't know. She's probably gonna come out another hole, right? This is insane. I feel really insane about this. I have no idea where I am right now. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, I'm going to Lanaru. Oh, she's probably gonna come out here, right? Makes sense. This might take a while if she's gonna come out here. I think this is probably just what she's doing. I'm I'm halfway through. A great way to spend your day, I suppose. Uh, I guess I will go unlock this thing over there, but uh, I know she's gonna come out of that hole in Lanaru. So I'll- I'm not gonna follow her all the way. This is gonna take forever. But that was really nice. That was really interesting. I really hate how dark it is. Um, it's 
stresses me the fuck out. Oh great, that's a really big area. I hate it here. I really don't like being in the chasm. It sucks. I'm sure I'll come to enjoy it at some point, you know, like when I play a lot of the game. When it's like all lit up and stuff. I'm sure it's gonna be important to the story in some way. It it is scary. <laughs> Looks like Dark Souls One's vibe. Oh, I haven't played Dark Souls, so I don't know. But interesting. Okay, I can access this one too, which would be great. Through the abyss? Oh. Oh. Great story. Unless you want anger issues? Oh. Yeah, I heard it's a very difficult game. So that's why I haven't really played it. What's that shiny thing down there? Yeah, you know what? At this point, I'm out of here. Like, I hate looking down and not being and being able to see anything. This is way too scary. Um, I will come back to it, though, when I have more hearts and stuff. I will. I promise. Just, oh, you know what? Like, l looking over the edge of something and not seeing anything, it's all dark. It reminds me of Subnautica. It reminds me of the ocean. I hate ocean so much. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Reminds me of the feeling you get when you look over something in the ocean and it's all dark and you can't see below. Like, n ah, no, no, I hate it. No, I don't like it. No. <laughs> but it's very well made, though. If it can't put fear in my heart, then it's greatly, it's very well made. Uh... I would like it to stop raining so I can go make some food. Stick. Bro, what the fuck? I mean, I know the story is gonna take me to the chasm at some point. Like, probably. Okay, what was the recipe for her thing? I think she said milk. Milk, rice. I I'm gonna ask her again, just in case, because I don't want to mess it up. I only have one sundelion.
Italian rice, fresh milk, and wild greens. Okay, I don't have rice, uh, but uh, it's pretty easy to get. I just have to cut some grass. Hmm. Yeah, that's the logic of the game. Does it? You don't have fucking rice in here? Bro, what the fuck? Lizard, that's not what I'm looking for, but thanks. Not a cricket either. Maybe the rice isn't here. Maybe it is better found in Hateno. I know there's like a field where I can find some rice in Hateno. Dash. Dash, let me go to, to Hateno. Real quick. Oh god. Okay, I know there is rice to be found. Somewhere. Ah, I found some. Great. I'm gonna go back. <laughs> uh. Rice? Milk. Milk. No, not oil. The fuck? You know about a... A what game called League of Legends? <laughs> I do. I, I've never played it. It's not my kind of game. I can make it work. I can make a porridge. <laughs> Sunny veggie porridge. Aww. What is that gentle aroma? Is that porridge I smell? Could it be? Did you make a porridge that could help with gloom sickness? Give it a try. Not me with over 200 hours on it. Oh my god. Uh, not 200, 2000. My bad. She. Would you say this was again a sunny veggie porridge? I've never made anything sunny before. Maybe this will help my grandmother. Mm. 
Yeah, there's like way too much happening on the screen for me. Uh, I've tried games like Le League of Legends. I've never tried League of Legends itself, but I've tried other stuff similar to it. And there's always like way too much stuff going on on the screen for me. What, Grandmother? How is it? Ah. Thank you, Leslie. That was the first meal I've been able to finish in quite a while. Ah. Grandmother, your complexion. The color's coming back to your cheeks. Ah. Hey, look, are you seeing this? A few bites of your sunny veggie porridge, and it's like she was never even sick. Oh. So you were the one who made that porridge for me. Such a gentle flavor. It didn't just nourish my body, but my spirit, too. Thanks to you and my granddaughter, it seems I'll be around for a long time yet. I'm so grateful for the both of you. Ah. Grandmother, what are you doing up? Ah. Oh, Clary, I'm so sorry I worried you. But this nice young man made me a wonderful sunny veggie porridge, so I'm feeling much better now. Oh. Hold on, you're doing this... You're doing this much better after one bowl of porridge? I guess I knew that was Lastly's plan, but I'm still amazed it actually worked. Now that I'm feeling better, you should hurry and prepare for your journeys, Lasley. Uh -huh. huh? You knew? <laughs> you can't get anything by her, Lasley. Besides, everyone knows studying fashion in Hateno Village is your dream. Grandmother and I can take care of Enchanted by your ourselves. Trust me, you deserve this. Uh -huh. Clary, are you sure you don't want to go study with her? Uh -huh. Well, I'd be lying if I said I didn't, but there's something else I want more. I want to make Enchanted a success right here in my beloved Kakariko village, right next to my beloved grandmother, and ah. I dream of somebody someday filling our store wall to wall with outfits you designed, lastly. So don't worry about me. Go study hard in Hateno village and come back to us a fa fashion icon. <laughs> you mean it? Thank you, Clary. And thank you, grandmother. Ah. Well, now that grandmother's all better, I think it's time I head back to the shop. I've got to make sure our prices are back to normal and everything's ready for our customers. You should come by Enchanted yourself. I will. Thank you so much for your help. I made a lot of porridge trying to find a cure for my grandmother. We won't be able to eat it on ourselves. I think I, it turned out pretty tasty though, so I'd love to give you some to take on your journey. Thanks. Oh, that's yeah. nice. I'm going to work hard for my big sister. Just watch, I'll be a fashion designer who changes the world. Cool. That porridge, that was sunny veggie porridge, wasn't it? I've never tasted anything quite like that. It was as if poison were, were drawn from my body, and such a comforting flavor, too. Oh. I feel like I have a whole new lifetime ahead of me. Ah. Thanks to you, I'm actually going to get to study fashion in Hateno Village with a clear con conscience. But Hateno Village is far to the east, on the edge of Nekluda, so I won't be able to come home to Kakariko very often. I'm actually a bit nervous about going on my own, <laughs> but I'd be happy if you came to visit me sometime. Yeah, sure. Uh, oh, I don't know why it doesn't work. Um, damn, hold on. Uh, let me... Let me see if I can just post the link in the chat. Yeah, that's the link to my uh, streaming server. If you want to join. Sorry, I had to do it manually. Usually there's a bot that replies to it. But I don't know why it doesn't work today. What? I, are the prices normal now? Well, it's still very expensive and I can't get it. Can I sell yeah. stuff though? Ah. 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 I want to hey. sell. I want to be filthy rich.
Uh, yeah. Ah. A Sheikah fabric? Oh, I can make a paraglider with that? What the hell? Okay. Neat. Hey. Is is just cool to use. Uh, maybe I'll take this. Uh, yeah. Could be could be very useful. Um. All right. I have to take a picture of the screen. Ah. Cut light Sam to pray to mother. Oh my god, are you serious? Ah. Oh mother, I'm sorry I don't come to visit more often. I want to, but Princess Zelda said we mustn't go near the ring ruin closest to your grave. I don't know why. Haya, I mean the chief doesn't know either. She said she's worried. Must be hard to be an adult, huh? Oh, thank you up early. I was just saying hello to my wife before heading to the chief's house. With one of the ring ruins closed off, I can't reach the cemetery, but it's the thought that counts, not the place. I'm sure my wife will hear my words wherever I say them. Whenever I, wherever I say them. It's time to talk to mother. We all pray together. You're right, when we pray, we'll pray as a family. I'm so proud of the fine young woman you're growing up to be. What screen? Is it in her room? Yep. So I went into Lady Paya's room and didn't do anything weird. Promise. Yeah. Ah, Link, good for you. To, good of you to come. Too curious to stay away. Who are you again? <laughs> what a draw sense of humor. It's me, Wordsworth, the ancient Hyrulean scholar you met at Lookout Landing. Are you curious about my findings here, Link? Yeah, a little bit. This is a picture of the stone tablet that fell from the sky at Lookout Landing. I managed to decipher the inscription on it using my notes on ancient Hyrulean I had in storage at, the, at this research lab. Hmm. Here's what it says. Once held 
Why? What? To King Raru, Queen Sonia, they're after to... Can you translate that? Mm. There's not much to go on, but you can clearly read the names of King Raru and Queen Sonia, the founders of Hyrule. The name Zelda is clearly legible elsewhere in the text. The author finishes by saying that she will write about the royal family's daily lives in 13 segments. Ah. It certainly seems to be a royal diary left behind by a chamberlain or someone of equivalent station. The part that catches my attention is the third name mentioned, Zelda. There's no record of anyone by that name in any of the other texts we've unearthed so far. But this is evidence that the name Zelda is much older than the princess. It dates all the way back to Hyrule's founding. Oh. What's written here must be the start of a first-hand account of Hyrule. Mm. Did you notice this number 13? It means there are 12 more stone tablets to be found. But Ro Royal Chamberlain really left these. Oh. It's an interesting perspective on the day-to-day -day life of the era. One which the history books don't mention. There's so much we can learn here from King Raru, Queen... Here of King Raru, Queen Sonia, or even this curious woman named Zelda. Mm. Twelve stone tablets left. Fascinating. Oh. If you happen to find more stone tablets on your travels, get some kind of visual evidence of them and show it to me. I'll make sure there's a nice reward in it for you. get to that ruin. I know Zelda said she's they we're not allowed to do it, but I uh but I uh, Hi. I know you missed her. Did you come to say good afternoon? Are you here to say nice things about my drawings? It's the ring ruin, see and Big Sis and me and me. Five of those ruiny things fell rings fell, so I gotta draw three more. Okay. I wonder if there's a way for me to go there. I'm probably not. I read what's on the slab. Back in ancient Hyrule, people called sages protected the kingdom. I see, how f fascinating. I bet those sages were nearly as strong and wise as Princess Zelda herself. Ah! Thanks so much for that. Only three left. Um, you had a chance to see more? What was written on them? There were once people blessed by wind, fire, water, and lightning, as well as time and light. And these people used secret stones to amplify their powers. Wow. They must have had some pretty amazing rocks way back when, huh? Ooh. Thank you for telling me about that slab. Truly fascinating stuff. Just two left. I can only imagine what discoveries lie in store. Oh. Oh. Ah. Okay. Mm.
I don't think I found the slab that was in this one. I'm gonna try to see if I can find it. Your stream is about to make me sleep in a good way. Aw, oh, cool. I love Ah, oh, shit, I'm in a village. I can't. Um, I'm glad that it's, like, relaxing, you know? That's kind of the vibe I'm trying to go for when I stream. It's so chill. Aw, oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm not really one of those, like, high-octane streamers that don't really... I usually don't even have that much energy when I'm streaming, so I'm always like, eh, hey, let's just take it easy. Take it easy. talk to this guy he said there should be a slab in here but I don't know where Where is that fucking slab? I'm so confused. He said there would be like a slab in each of the ruins, but I don't see one here. Maybe... Oh, maybe it's in the part that fell down. I think. Huh? 
No. What the fuck? Well... I don't know if they have this one. Yeah, I already have this one. Fuck. that big one over there I don't know I don't know I can't find it I can't find it I think I got this one already Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have this, but let me check. Okay, I, I have this one. And then there's like a big one. No, that's not what I meant to do. Hmm. 
didn't mean to transport there. What the fuck? I'm too far now. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna launch myself. be next banner on Genshin? Uh... Mm, I don't remember. I think... I think it's just a rerun. But I don't remember who. I know phase 2 is Kazuha and somebody else. But I don't remember the first phase. That's the one I looked at already, right? Isn't it? Yeah. I think I didn't look at the one that's up there. Did you say Kazuha? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really excited about that because I really want Kazuha. Um, he's on. He's gonna be in phase two. Oh, yeah. Very excited about that. I've been saving up for Kazuha. Oh, look at him! It's just. <laughs> So cute. C4? I do hope to get like constellations, but I don't think I will. Bro, what the hell? Oh, that's this the, the Great Sky Island. <gasps> I don't care how many times you say it, the best defense is a good offense. It's all nonsense from back to front. And now look at us, it's late at night. We haven't gotten any closer to getting rid of those monsters. And we won't last long as you, as you keep turning out upside down. The best offense is not a good defense. You stubborn old codger, okay? Look who's talking. Oh, okay. While you were, you've been going on and on about, with your poppycock about offense being superior to defense, we're stuck here until you see reason. We need to clear out those monsters. Don't blame me, we can't... Get to those monsters because you keep spitting all your foolish talk. There's no way that defense is better than defense. Offense. You know what? I'm done. You can just go off and defend yourself all you want. I'm not going to be warm food. Warm food? Hmm. Good grief. Those two really don't get along. You know what I mean? Oh. I mean, those two squabblers over there. I have three Kazuha and I am not satisfied. Oh, okay. I want to investigate the ring ruin nestled in these hills, but some monsters have set up camp there. I heard these two are competing to be the town's top fighter, so I asked them to clear out the monsters, but this is all they do. Uh. There's a stone slab in the nestled ring ruin inscribed in Zonai writing. What if the monsters destroyed that priceless artifact? Why did I ask those two for help? What if I took out the monsters instead? What if, though? <laughs> like, wouldn't that be fun? If I took the monsters out. Is that a star fragment? Wow. Do you think Tulin can fight with me if I have him with me? Come on, you serious right now? There's the blood moon right now? Ah! This is so stupid!
thank god it happened like before I took them all out. That would have been frustrating otherwise. Oh, she, yeah, he's actually helping me fight. That's pretty cool. Out the monsters, motherfucker. <laughs> Look at him, he's so creepy over there. He's just waiting for me at the end of the corridor, like. I'm watching you. <laughs> it's okay, too long. The stone slab of the nest. No, no. Those two most elite amongst the granted. Those who most elite among the granted qualifications are chosen as sages. Those worthy secret stone and henceforth sages. Clearly, the sages are the subject of this slab. Filling in the blanks, I think it's basically saying talented individuals become sages by taking up secret stones. Okay. That's what the other one said, though. Haha, <laughs> look at me. I beat all those monsters. What? You defeated all the monsters, just who are you? I'm a Link! That was some kind of fighting he did there, old kid. It sure was a firm grasp of defense and a strong hand with defense. Yeah. I have had it wrong all. Have I had it wrong all these years? It's plain as day now. You can't defeat your enemies purely with defense. Of course. Ah. No, I had it wrong. If you just attack, you're going to get hurt or worse. Ah. Well, the important thing is that we've realized the truth before it's too late. We need a balance between the two, and this fine fighter here showed us the way. Oh. I don't know if this is a good reward, but Olkin knows a thing or two about defense. I'm all about offense. I doubt there's much a warrior like you could learn from the likes of us, but glad to help if we can. Mm. Well, now that the monsters are gone, I'd suggest that we head back to our village. Ah. Right, I bet my Triss's store is running on low on goods right about now. People there must be in deep need. So it's not enough to be exceptional, you need a secret stone to be a sage. Or so it seems at least. Unfortunately, I go to sleep. Hope you feel well soon and good night. Oh, thank you. Well, I hope you have a good night's rest and uh, I'll see you later. Thank you so much for hanging out on stream. I appreciate it. Um, and good night. I will also probably sleep. Maybe I, I'm gonna play for like half an hour more. What is a secret stone? If it's that special, I'm sure its beauty, its beauty would put a diamond to shame. Thank you for telling me about that slab. Truly fascinating stuff. Just one left. The one left is the one that I can't get to yet, I think. Aww. Well, visitor, I heard the news. You've, gone, you've done us such a huge favor. Those two have argued about offense and defense since they were barely old enough to walk. <laughs> they just praised each other's vegetables and now it's like a brand new day for those old coots. We've also got some stock back in it, so it's happy days all around. That reminds me, please take this. Nice. Ah. Let's call it an Endora carrot. Cook it to gain stamina. It's a precious natural remedy. It's been prized since old times, and it's become remarkably rare of late. Please take it with you on our journey. Aww. Thank you, truly. Please drop by any time. Oh, I'm broke. I'm broke, broke. I have seven rupees on me. Ah... <laughs> uh. I 
have to go show the photo to the conspiracist children in the school of Ateno. I love that the the the, <laughs> the, the goddess uh, statue has like the the hat the mushroom hat. That's funny. I don't think she had that before, or I didn't notice. <laughs> I'm about to teach them, kids. So for this class, we'll be, uh, can you prove any of this? Isn't it more likely that over time history and legend started to blur together? Are we still talking about stuff that happened 10,000 years ago? Can you point to any paintings and images that actually show there was a calamity 10,000 years ago? You guys are little shits. I can see I'll have to actually show. I have a picture. Look at it. What's this? A screen depicting the calamity. C class, please take note here. I mean, <laughs> C class, C class. I think that's what was going on. I was con I, con I was confused why I would say C class. This is a rare opportunity to see our primary source regarding the calamity. <laughs> wow, this looks like the real thing. <laughs> so the legend was true. That's amazing. <gasps> you know, seeing this makes me feel like it might have happened yesterday. <laughs> well, if you got documented proof, that's good enough for me. Go on, Mr. Simon, let us tell us the rest of the story about the calamity. Of course. Thank you so much, Link. My lecture about the calamity might run long, but I hope you'll stay for it anyway. Yeah. Hmm. The calamity has visited this land of Hyrule several times over. However, 10,000 years ago, there were, there were divine beasts built by the Sheikah using their advanced technology. Each of them was controlled by a skilled pilot as well. Oh. With the sword that tilts the darkness and the power of the sacred princess, the ancient heroes stopped the calamity. For a long while after that, the lands of Hyrule knew peace. Mm -hmm. But the time when the people forgot about the calamity was the moment it returned to menace them once more. Ha! Once more, what did happen? Sit down! Ah. It's all happened about a hundred years ago. It began with an oracle prophes prophesying the calamity's return. The royal family took their cues from the legend of the past. They found and ex excavated the they found and excavated the divine beasts. Skilled members of the Rito, Goron, Zora, and Gerudo people were selected to pilot them. They were called the Champions. With the, wield with the wielder of the sword that seals the darkness and the sacred princess, all the pieces from the legend were in place. Ah. But this time the Calamity would not be bested so easily. Ah. Did something happen? Hmm. Sadly, the sacred princess was unable to awaken the holy power within her. The divine beasts were taken over by the Calamity. Those selected to pilot them lost their lives in the process. Worse still, the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness was badly hurt just when it all seemed lost. The sacred princess came into her power and devoted her whole being to keeping the calamity at bay for a hundred years. Ah. Is everyone following along so far? After spending a hundred years dormant, the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness awakened, his wounds healed. Oh. He won back the divine beast with the help of several allies, including some of the champion's descendants. And in the end, the hero defeated the calamity and the sacred princess stopped the evil one. Sorry, I got a little emotional there at the, th at the end. It's a true story, though. Oh. All that we have, our land, our lives, our civilization, we owe it to all those who fought it, f fought for it through the centuries. Ah. Wow, I want to be like a late ancient hero and give the next generation good lives, too. That went splendidly. Words cannot convey my satisfaction. And I couldn't have done it without you showing us the screen link. Once again, thank you so much for your assistance. Yeah. That's right. I should have something for all your help. Would this- You should have something for all your help. Would this do? D rice. Yeah, sure. <laughs> With the new vegetables being de developed, they're harvesting less rice these days. That's a shame and it's a favorite of mine. You should taste it for yourself. Speaking of rice, our next subject is home economics. 
I plan to use the occasion to talk of dishes that you use highly in the rice. Teach me a lesson too. Well, well, good morning to you. Thank you for your contributions. History class is ordinarily a bit slow pace for the children's taste. That last lesson may have been the first time I've seen them enjoying a history lecture so much. Our next class is a home economics lesson. Naturally, you're free to sit in again if the subject interests you. Today's lecture is on home economics. Food is essential for our survival. A keen culinary sense can help you stay alive in this perilous world. I'd like to put a question to you all. What dish do you might get by mixing Goron Spice with Highland Rice and raw meat? Ah. Goron Spice is the hot stuff they sell in Goron City in the Northeast, right? Uh. If, it's, if it's got Goron Spice in it, the answer can't be anything but curry. <laughs> the only other thing in it is raw meat, right? So obviously, <laughs> the answer has to be meat curry. Oh. Yes, that's correct. The one That one might have been on the simple side for all of you. How about this one, then? Take Goron Spice, Hylian Rice, Hylian Rice, and mix in Monster Extract. What do you get? Monster what? Hmm. Um, aren't monster parts only used for medicines? <laughs> yeah, if you try to cook with monster parts, it's a disaster every time. <laughs> no one would eat curry made with monster stuff. I call trick question. <gasps> hey, settle down, children. This lesson may be too advanced. In fact, combining monster extract, Goron Spice, and Highland Rice makes monster curry. But judging from your skeptical faces, you won't believe me unless I can put a dish of it in front of you. Hmm. I'd love to make some curry for them, but I don't have any monster extract. I told them that it can be had in Terrytown up north in Akala. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Uh. Oh, she's here! Hi. Welcome to Hateno Village's premier boutique, Ventus Clothing! Ah, oh, you really came to visit! Thanks again for helping my family back in Kakariko Village! You wouldn't believe who I've been studying fashion under! Cece herself! I'm so lucky to have her as my mentor! She asked me to help around the shop, so I'm trying to bring in customers. Oh, that's right! Have you ever gotten rid of a piece of clothing you can't find in the shop? It's the worst! If you ever find yourself in that situation, come talk to my mentor. I know she'll be able to help you out. Good day. Yeah. Welcome to Ateno Village. Here for some sightseeing? The East Wind General Store is open for business. If you're here for Ateno Village's famous fresh produce, you're here in, you're in the right place. Or if you like the super cute Seisei -se hat, ah. you can hit the store across the way, Ventus Clothing. They're featuring a new line of hats right now. Thanks to Seisei, -se, this village is the place to be. She's drawing in so many tourists that her sales are growing up, uh, going up to. Seisei -se is putting our village on the map. Uh, what do you like? I'm not sure. What kind of a question is that? But he's still looking at me, so I should say something. Oh. Maybe frogs? Sure, why not? I like frogs. I had a, if I had a hundred hot-footed frogs, I would be incredibly happy. I couldn't think of anything, so I just told him what my dad likes instead. I'm not trying to be rude, buddy, but what were you doing with Miss Miss Ivy from the general store? Sure, I noticed. I've been checking her out for a long... I mean, a friend f of a friend tipped me off. I talked to her. What? You went and asked her what Miss Ivy likes? Right to her face? What's the idea? Uh-oh, gotta play it smooth. Can't let him guess I'm the one dying to know. Alright then, so what is it? What does it Miss Ivy want? I can't leave my friend's friend hanging. She wants hot-footed frogs, and a hundred of them at that? Yeah, that checks out. Miss Ivy's love for animals is just one of the many charming things about her. Or so my friend's friend is always saying. That was a close one. I better play it smooth. <laughs> Still, collecting a hundred hot-footed frogs seems to be a big job. Even for someone you love. Ah. But not if I had help. You traveler types go into wells and caves all the time, right? That's just the kind of place where you go find frogs. You don't ha even have to go that far. What? I didn't say anything, huh? Look, let's focus on how helpful it will be to if you gather ten of those frogs. Ah. There'd be a reward in it for you. Won't you do it for my friend's friend's sake? 
Uh, how many do I have right now? I have a bunch, but I don't know if I have 10. I only have 7. I feel like I could quickly find 3 of them in the well. Hey, ma'am, I got the frogs. Huh? Hey, buddy, do I hear the faint croaks of little frogs? Specifically, ten hot footed frogs in that pouch of yours? Yeah, man. You already caught all the hot-footed frogs? That's some quick work. And here I am, not having caught even one. Okay, so if you've got the frogs, then let's see them. One, two, three. <laughs> Ten frogs, all accounted for. Allow me to take those off your hands. And as promised, here's your reward. Nice, guess it's up to me to collect the rest. I've been dreaming of a date with my beloved Miss Ivy. <laughs> and that's why I, Manny, will check every well in sight. Uh-oh, not coming back from that one. Yeah, man, you fucked up. It's okay, I already knew. I do want to listen in. How do I listen in? How do I listen in? Oh. 
I know there's like a way to eavesdrop, but I don't remember how. Find somewhere else to stand someplace out of earshot of a private conversation. Mm. Very unproductive. Ah. If you come back once you've gained some basic fashion sense, we might let a fellow CC fan join in our chat. Mm. Uh, what if I wear my special hat? Will you allow me to listen in on your conversation? So jealous, that's a limited edition- Sorry if I'm not reading all the things. That's a limited edition piece, you know. In fact, she only made one. Yeah? Uh. You know what I heard? Yeah. Hold on, is this something you want our eavesdropper to overhear? <laughs> He's dressed in sassy brand clothes, isn't he? I don't see a problem with true fans like him knowing. Whoa. You know the research lab up the hill? Of course, you're talking about the place at the top of the re eastern hill where that cute head researcher used to live, right? Whoa. Right, and then that weird old man took her place for a while? Well, they say a voice called to him directly from Hyrule Castle, and now he's working at Lookout Landing. Ah! Summoned to the castle, you say? He must be a very important man indeed. I can see how someone like that would attract such a lovely young wife. Ah. Speaking of his family, it sounds like their son Grante moved to Tarrytown, that village northeast of here. They tell me he's so desperate for a job that he even changed his name. Don't ask me to what, though. What? Whoa. Well, well, it takes all kinds, I suppose. Okay. The fuck are they on about? Um... I'm I'm just thinking if there's something I can do before I step before I stop. Um but I mean this looks all to be like pretty long stuff, so maybe I should just wrap it up here. My head still hurts, and I would love to play more, but I feel like I need to sleep. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna save. Oh my god. Alright, um... Well, thank you guys for coming, I really appreciate it. Uh, you know... I'm gonna play more of this game all week, uh, I mean not all week, not every day, because uh, I have other stuff that I need to do the some other days, but like on Wednesday I'll be back to play more of this game, um, Friday too, and I don't know, uh, this week is like Genshin update week, so 
there's maybe one day I'll do a Genshin stream, but it might be Sunday. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. It depends on the content there is in there. I don't really... I'm not sure if there's going to be anything big for me to stream. Uh, but anyway... Yeah, th I appreciate you guys for being here. Sorry if I was, like, very low energy today, but uh, my head is still killing me. And, uh, yeah. We're gonna raid Shoizamo. Show. They're doing, like, a, a media share or something. Alright. Uh, thank you guys for coming, and I'll see you later. Bye! Right, just starting the raid. Gonna take a few seconds. Alright, let's go! Two hundred chickens living in a trailer. Me. Oh! <gasps> Hello? Missy! Missy! Welcome to the stream! Thank you for the raid! Hello! How was your stream? What were you up to? Hold on. I'm gonna... Give you a little shout out! Oh, oh my gosh. Now Stream Elements wants to work. Bro, Stream Elements has been on something lately. Um... How are you? How is your stream? What were you up to? Hey, you're playing the new um, Legend of Zelda game. That's so fun. Oh my gosh. I hope it's awesome. I've heard nothing but good things about it. The only bad thing I've heard about that game is that you cannot pet the dog, which is so upsetting, but it's fine. <laughs> I guess. I guess they get a free pass this time. It's so good. Good. Every show has one. Even Pimp Pimp My Ride has a Where Are They Now? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Well, welcome in Raiders. We are doing Media Monday today. Uh, we just finished watching a super intense uh, episode of Hoarders. That's been on our like weekly rotation lately. Uh. Oh god. But we just finished that. Probably gonna find another video to watch. I don't know how much longer we're gonna be going, but I'm still in the mood to watch Trash TV, personally. Personally, um, I'm glad you're having a good time playing it. Yeah, it looks really beautiful from what I've seen. And, like, all the new characters and stuff, I've seen, like, that chief person and, um, that, uh, I don't know, there's, like, some, like, tan guy with, like, red shaggy hair that I've seen, uh, who also looks really cool. Like, their designs are really, really cool. I'm doing good. Thank you so much for asking. Yeah, it's been a pretty good day so far. It's been good. Most of the cars from Pimp My Ride ended up in a junkyard. Wait, why? 